All right, so Walmart is not uh, known for their quality. Uh, mostly they're known for their prices. Lately, they haven't even been known for their selection because they've got nothing in stock. Now, it was Christmas season. They have a lot of good sales, so I was in there. I just got a uh, drill press. I'm about halfway through building a little bench to put that on. Um, because, because I just got the drill press... Um, I was like, well, you know, maybe I could use some new bits, poking my nose around, because I'm like, it's Walmart, they'll have a bunch of cheap ones, and I won't care if I break them, right? And they had a pack, it was 20 bits, they were titanium, and uh, it was $12.99, I'm like, alright, that's cool, right up my alley, perfect. And I'm looking around, seeing if there's anything else pops out at me, and I notice something on that very top shelf, um, it's like a really big box, um, this is 200 and I'm like, oh, I don't see that anywhere down here or on any of the end caps. And I walked around for about five minutes looking around in the area. They did not have this thing on display. Um, I'm like, okay, well, there's no price next to it either. So I walk around until I find one of those little scan, the, scan, scan your shit things. And so I scan it and it says uh, it's 32 bucks. I'm like, all right, for 20 extra dollars, I get 10 times as many things in it. Even if they're junk, that seems like a reasonable way to go. Get more junk, at least. Um, so, value-wise, that seemed like the way that I should go. And I decided to uh, pull the trigger on that. Let me tell you. Walmart might just be uh, heading towards being a player. <laughs> um, I would... I don't know that I'd put them on par with, like, an older... Um, uh, DeWalt or, uh, you know, you know, like, because the stuff used to be made with a little bit of quality and it's really not anymore. Uh, Roy B is at least in the experiences I've had about on par with the DeWalt. And honestly, this is about on par with, uh, the kit that I got from Roy B, except there's a lot more in it. Let me get in there so you can see. These are the titanium bits. The gold ones, obviously. They are not all titanium. They're just uh, uh, coated. Um, that was what was in the original pack for 12 bucks. Again, if I break them, who cares? For the additional 20, I'll show you what I did get. Got some locking collars, which never hurts. Got a couple of different types of uh, wood bits. Got some masonry bits here. Got a full set of uh, Allen wrenches, which, eh, I have, but, you know, especially these little guys, they break, or I use them for other stuff. Look how little. They got down to uh, .035, so about as small as you go. Um, and then one of everything that you wind up losing, head size. Head wise. <laughs> um... I'm not real sure why. They stuck some sheetrock anchors in there, too. And then, uh, some long, uh, long shank drill bits of basically the same variety of the that you get the short ones. Um, I have messed with these a little bit and not had any more issue with these than I have with the expensive-ass DeWalt drill bits and whatnot that I keep in this little cup. <laughs> um, the, uh, the box that those came in has been long since destroyed, um, and or lost, but, uh, yeah, for, uh, for 32 bucks, I am definitely happy with, uh, with what I got here, plenty of stuff to destroy, and I will now definitely be watching Walmart, I fiddled with a couple of other, couple other of these Heart brand, uh, products, and so far had at least as good a uh, end result as I've had with the Roybee stuff. So there's that.